The dressing, bandages. What's that about? The dressings, bandages, where did I put them? Forget it. Bandages won't do him any good. What? Oh, but he breathed still a moment ago. Mm-hmm. Breathed his last then. Bled to death. Legs broken. Femoral arteries ruptured. Wound like that, you're dead in minutes. Gods. What happened here exactly? I... I was rolling through, fully loaded, when I heard screams. This one crawled towards the road, then drooped to the ground, lost consciousness. I jumped down to help him, dress his wounds. Then you appeared. Pretty admirable stopping to help a stranger. Truthfully, when I saw him, I considered it might be an ambush. The thought entered my mind, I near decided to crack the whip. But to abandon a man in need? It's simply not the decent thing to do. Decent enough in many other places, believe me. Before you go on, clean your hands thoroughly and burn your shirt. Might also want to rub some time on your body to be sure. The smell of blood might attract ghouls otherwise. Who? Who might you be, precisely? A witcher. Oh. Uh, 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 do, do, do you expect some beast might have killed him? See what we have here. Legs broken, but cause of death's the wound. Deep, edges unfrayed. Either a thrust weapon or a thick claw. Maybe a wyvern's. Tough to say, and... Mmm. Breastplate's unusual. Dented. It's got a patina. An antiquity, I believe. I deal in these things, so... Uh, what's puzzling is... Why did he done it? Not likely to learn that from him. Now to figure out where he came from. From that house, I'm assuming, but need to investigate. Got some work to do. So... So long. Wait! I will come with you! Hmm, so be it. But stay close. Keep it down, and don't touch a thing. Trail leads to the house on the hill, which stands silent as a grave. Have been here he broke his legs fell while climbing over the wall trying to leave the property probably after he didn't manage to open the gate damn it good gods what the hell's this setting for a banquet it seems so what's your suspicion did none survive Gods. Silver tableware. Elven engravings. Servant. Stabbed to death. Over a dozen blows with a sharp object. Some post-mortem. I cannot believe this is the work of a man. It was a monster, to be sure. Torso punctured with great force. Blow pierced hardened steel. Man on the high road. Breastplate was identical. Throats massacred. One mighty blow. Shield along sides old and dented. Swords ceremonial. 
and Shea handiwork clearly. Ceremonial bowls for little sacrifices? Of what? Please, do not say humans. Ceremonial bowls for little sacrifices? Of what? Please, do not say humans. Burn marks. Something catch fire? Explode. Strong stench. on the body. All puncture wounds, but hard to tell what caused them. Victim's human, but the attire's elven. Are you certain? How did he come by it? We've so few non-humans in Tucson. Fled, then dropped to the ground to douse the flames. Didn't manage. Burnt smells growing fainter. Might have been another luckier soul managed to flee. Doublet scorched. Wriggled out of it, tossed it, then ran on. Perhaps there's no one inside after... I know you're in there. Breathing's loud and clear. <clears throat> Open up. We mean you no harm. Listen, I'm a witcher. I'm here to help you. But if that's gonna happen, you gotta answer some questions first. Who are you, exactly? D Durant Fosher Plamonton de Safaran, Lord of these lands, and Chairman of the Society of Friends of the History of Tuzon. We meet here annually to mark the anniversary of the Elfin Homage. But something like this... Why, it's a first. You mentioned them. Who do you mean? Those... I, I don't know what they were. Spirits. It all occurred of a sudden. We were staging a scene. The, the, the death of paying homage. There was a flash of light that blinded me completely. I heard cries, though saw nothing. Then felt my own robes were in flames. I broke and ran, threw off my doublet, leapt in here and, and shut and locked the door behind me. They pounded on the door. I, I, I thought they would get through. I, I thought I was done for, but but in the end, it, uh, it grew calm. Hmm. So while reenacting a scene from the past, somehow, unintentionally, you summoned a specter, a Korgorath, or a tube, maybe. What? What now? Best thing? You gotta do it again, of course. Are you mad? Would you have this thing kill us? No, don't want it to kill anyone. Precisely why I gotta do my job, summon it again, whatever it is, and tend to it once and for all. Durand, think I can reenact the pledge? The giving of homage, alone? It was a great, momentous event. The surrender of Tucson's last elfin king. You will need at least three individuals. You know what I'm gonna ask for. Need your help. But I'll understand if you turn me down. No objections? Good. Let's get to work. Start by clearing the corpses. Got some time. Won't start the reenactment before nightfall. Things of this sort are a lot more likely to work after dusk. One last thing, though. My pay. Don't work for free, you know. Understood. Just keep the danger at bay, and I shall be generous. Through and through. I will stand, or rather, sit in for King Ludovic, upon the Elfin Throne, while you, Witcher, will play the Enshe Ruler. We must don the costumes. All must be just 
right. The Vethef, the Elven King, hosted Ludovic in his own palace upon his own throne, amidst the blinding glow of a plethora of torches. granting humans rule over seed-yielding lands. The Betha filled the ornate ceremonial. At long last, the Elfin King grasped his sword and shield, thus symbolically passing command of his armies to humans. Elven king, erect in his pride, Lutofik then spake. I accept your allegiance and shall return in one year's time to... Ah! Look! Look! The statues! Impossible! God's mother! That is. The sculptures, they came alive. By what witchcraft? Dunno, specialize in killing monsters. Reviving them, not so much. I... I may know what happened. The statues, you see, once stood in the palace of one Defethov. I acquired them a month past because uh, perhaps I should start at the beginning. This Devethev was to pay tribute to humans, producing statues of this sort each year. Yet he did so but once, for he perished in the massacre of non-humans at the foot of Mount Gorgon in the year 782. It's fortunate he did too, 
As Tefethev had planned Lutefek's downfall, for he sculpted not statues, but columns that masqueraded as such. Columns activated with words said in homage. Columns that would have turned the king and his bodyguards into so much colorful confetti. Typical. Treachery embodied. Elves. Pshh. You're no better. Elves were just defending their territory. You humans took it, but you still weren't sated. Had to cut the elves down every last one. You? What does that mean? You're a man as we are. Yeah, in a way. Just a shame to have to admit it sometimes. Your words? They're wrong, Witcher. But I'll not let you leave empty-handed. Take this for your reward. Farewell. Let's go! Spoons are beating out some kind of rhythm. A 
a message trying to tell me something. None shall sit and dine with you at your table. No spoon you have shall say to you. Never again shall you wish to spy your reflection in the mirror. Sounds like a curse, all right. Somebody's clearly obsessed. Regis mentioned the place might be cursed. Can't be a coincidence. Need to look around. What a pigsty. Need to search it thoroughly. Find a way to collect some white saliva. White's obsessed. Real collector. Thoroughbred. Spoon. Pretty ordinary. Maybe a little old. Spoon's incredible. The craftsmanship. Must have graced a rich man's table. she was changing into a monster, recorded it in her diary. Minute. Smashed mirror, as if someone couldn't stand to look at themselves. The monster. Journal's author, maybe? No spoon you have shall say to you. Whatever lives here treated that literally, still searching for the right spoon. Another spoon. Yep, just as normal as the last one. A spoon key. Sophisticated crafting. Tag bears a description. White's a true collector. White's obsessed. A real collector. Thoroughbred. None shall sit and dine with you at your table. No spoon you have shall say to you. Never again shall you wish to spy your reflection in the mirror. Woman's name scratched into this wooden spoon. Romantic. Skeletons. Doubt they came here willingly. This have anything to do with the curse? None shall sit and dine with you at your table. It'd make sense. Right arm bit right off. Teeth all knocked out. Somebody tried to force feed him. Broken neck. Indentation in the skull's lateral surface. Smacked in the head with something heavy. No claw or fang marks. Probably choked to death. Actually does seem like a white's lair. Bit atypical, but still. Cauldron should be somewhere around here. Spoon. Pretty ordinary. Maybe a little old. Another spoon. Yep, just as normal as the last one. White's obsessed. A real collector. Thoroughbred. Cauldron I was looking for. White's not particularly tidy. Spoon, pretty ordinary. Maybe a little old. Table set. White who lives here is getting ready for some sort of feast. White that lives here, 
Definitely afflicted by a curse. It's been trying desperately to lift it. Another spoon. Yep, just as normal as the last one. Culvin's empty, unfortunately. We just need some brew. I'm afraid he won't get that. No choice but to hide and wait for the saliva glands and their bearer. Need a spot that'll let me observe the cauldron. Not gonna hurt you. Wanna help? I've seen the words of the curse on the walls. Think I know how to lift it. Tried to bring folk here, convince them to sit at the table with you, right? Well, I'm gonna be your guest now. Your willing guest. Where none shall sit and dine with you at your table, no spoon you have shall say to you, never again shall you wish to spy your reflection in the mirror. We can't use spoons. No, that won't work. You've been looking for a spoon that would feed you, but there's no such spoon. We need to eat without spoons. Expected. Need to see what happened to the white. Won't be hard to find given its stench.
easy. Not gonna hurt you. Eat. I, I must eat. safe. So I took her by the hand and led her here. Seemed the only sensible place for her. You did the right thing, sir. She should recover quickly here. Don't worry, sir. I shall see to everything. She is safe here and in good hands. She'll soon be back on her feet. Might actually take a while. She hadn't eaten anything in over a hundred years when I found her. Horrid. Whatever brought this about? Told me her story on the way here. Her name's Marlena. She was once the very beautiful and proud heiress to the Trastamara estate. One evening, when she was holding a banquet for friends, a beggar came to her gate seeking alms. He had a bowl and a spoon with him. He sat outside her fence and waited. I've heard of the custom. An ancient rite of hospitality that obliges one to give food and drink to such a guest lest he depart hungry. To neglect the custom is to bring great misfortune down upon oneself. Marlena didn't care a whit for the old customs. She drove the man off, saying she'd rather feed the leftovers from her feast to her dogs than to give the beggar anything. The beggar then broke his spoon, cast a curse. She was beautiful, so he said she'd never wish to look at herself in the mirror again. Since she adored feasts, he swore no one would ever wish to sit and dine with her. And as she even refused him the crumbs from her table, he swore she'd never find a spoon in the world that would sate her hunger. A harsh punishment. I imagine lifting the curse was hardly simple. Curses are tricky. They play on irony. Always gotta figure out what the catch is. Marlena had spent decades looking for a way to lift it. Transformed into a white, she stole spoons and lured folk into her home, trying each time to get them to dine with her. Didn't work. So what did? Someone had to sit down and share a meal with her, of their own free will. They had to eat without using spoons, and make her look at her reflection. That's it? That was all it required? Simplest solutions are sometimes the last that come to mind. Besides, when you're a white, it's pretty damn hard to find willing human company for a feast. I imagine so. But, most importantly, it is now over. Please, don't worry. She will be in good hands here. Thanks. Gotta get back to my business now. See you soon.